you know, for instance, deconstructing the idea of what a man or woman is, is actually highly, highly relevant work in practical terms because um, the acceptance, and this is, you know, when you read Butler's work, for instance, I'm using her as an example because I know she's one of those examples that people give a lot about um, the difficulty of understanding her and what is she actually doing that's practical. And interestingly enough, much of what she does is actually activism in the way that most activists right. would say is activism, except that work never gets paid attention to. And a lot of activists take it up and strategize around And strategize, it, right? exactly, exactly, with those ideas. Um, but, you know, that, that idea of sort of being able to say, you know, there is a, a real identifiable claim that we can make about what a man or woman is, there are a lot of feminists that are in opposition to that because they want to be able to kind of take up the mantle of, you know, we need to make practical changes, you know, some of the things that, um, you know, that affect women like, you know, sexual violence or, or uh, you know, lack of pay equity, you know, clearly we're talking about female bodies and female subjects. Yes, that's all true. At the same time, that idea of a rigidity of what female actually looks like has worked against us for much of history. You know, those same ideas about saying this is what a real woman is like and, um, you know, acts like and can think like or not think like um, has actually mostly, as far as I can tell throughout history, has actually backfired. Mm -hmm. So, so I, 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 to me, it, 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 it makes sense that, that some of those very complex um, ideas and, and those cherished concepts that we all hang on to, no matter how much critical reading or work we've done, we're so kind of imbibing that stuff with the pablum, the air that we breathe from day one about the, the rigidity and fixidity of an identifiable identity called male or female and what you know male or female behaviors or traits are like or these days the language of neurons and brains and, and you know male brains and female brains, whatever that means. That I think there's such a wave of that coming at us all the time that we need that other wave. And that other wave, unfortunately, does necessitate sometimes a more complex language mm -hmm. you know, to be able to get underneath and really unpack what this one word means in five pages, a word that we're used to just using. It rolls mm -hmm. off our tongue and we think we're all at the same bubble in our head about what it means, but we don't. And there are actually 5,000 different ways to look at that word sometimes. And it's important to do that to make some of that political change. And I really see a link between that and some of the changes that then get translated into policy, into the law. So, you know, one great example of that for me, a very practical one, is, you know, up until 1986 in Canada, we didn't have um, a criminalization of rape and marriage, right? Um, because the assumption was that we understood what marriage means and what consent means. So you had to unpack those concepts mm -hmm. and, and what you know, in order to do that. Yes, it's possible to unpack those concepts without sometimes the arcane language, but the arcane language is part of what allowed us to get to this idea of concept is not so simple, yeah. marriage is not so simple, partnership is not so simple. So I think we need both. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm more comfortable in this land because <laughs> it just, you know, I like sitting around reading those <laughs> words and thinking about those words. and. Um, but yeah, I'm also enough of a pragmatist, a pragmatist to, to know that that stuff is important to be running in the buffer while that other stuff is going on out here. Mm -hmm. It's not always about placards and going in and, right. you know, it's, it's a, all, both things are needed. So, yeah, so for me, there's no conflict. I know there is for some people, but for me, there's no conflict about that. Yeah.